Hey uh, yo, what up YouTube? It's your boy Ultra Directed oh, Chester with no. the Disco here. Yeah. Yo, what's We're up? We're playing Metroid Dread and we're gonna see if we get to smash that like button and subscribe. If you smash that <laughs> like button, I will give to charity. I, 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 because I, I feel really bad that, that you had to hear that. That, that was self-harm in the form of a funny voice. So we had uh, we had another funny voice uh, leading up to this episode. <laughs> we, were, we were just chilling and uh, waiting uh, for files to process and all that fun stuff. Yeah, I, I, I am a, I, I'm not a big anime fan. I'm, 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 I have very impossibly high standards. <laughs> and so he came up with the highest standard individual... Well, just know your video games are really good. The anime is really bad. Anime is bad. If, if, if you have anime in your Wait, video what? game... What? How did that not work? If you have anime in your video game, it's automatically bad. Because anime is bad, but video games are good. If you have anime in your video games, it's bad already. There, there are video games, and then there are anime. One is infinitely better than the other, and that's the space jump. Space jump! Space jump! Space jump! Come on and jam. Space jump! Come on and slam, excuse me. Everybody and welcome to get the up, it's time to jump now. We got Come the space jump going on. Welcome to the space jump. Space jump. Creek pressing B to keep on jumping. It's the space jump. All right, all right, all right. Space Press on your hands in the air. If you feel right. salt in the air, if you feel <laughs> fine, we got a real jam going on. Welcome to the space jump. So yeah, that uh, that big nerd character that we played that absolutely hates anime but loves games. Uh, when that nerd happens to have their favorite game be Steins Gate, <laughs> um, that their response was uh, was very interesting to uh, to hear. You see, you know, I I, I know Stein, See, it was a game before uh -huh. it was an anime. Uh -huh. Okay, you get it. Okay. I thought they made the anime. Oh, that's what made it bad. Got it. And then to make matters worse, they make a game based on the anime well, of the game. Well, then that's they just play like the game, but no, it's an anime. Bad. I don't get it. It uh, doesn't make I any totally sense. I totally understand your plight, and I would care, but I don't. Well, you have to care. I mean, you have no choice but oh, to care. Okay. I mean, everybody's got to care. I understand <laughs> completely. <laughs> I, I mean, it's, it's an anime game. I can't have anime on there because <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable with with how as, I, I perceive myself. As the owner of many anime games, I can safely say it doesn't warp your mind too much. It just depends on what anime you watch. A lot of them are hot garbage, but does that stop me from being a member That's... of society? It's the same crap, that's all it is. It's the same crap. I don't know, let, let me find a couple. It's the same crap. Go ahead and fight the thing or, or do the thing. Uh, let, me, let me find some. How about Devil's Third? <laughs> that's a Russian anime game. Uh, that's, <laughs> that, that, that's just uh, some sludge that came out of Tomonobu Itagaki's butthole. <laughs> and yet you got for me. Thanks, man. Yeah, well, it's because it was the Holy Grail of the Wii U. Yeah. Is, is is it still, or is there something rarer than that now? No, it's still Holy Grail. Okay. Especially sealed. Like, which, like, which like, there's, like there's not some, like, you know, oh, uh, you know, there's uh, some hotel chain in 2014 had some <laughs> Wii U's that never really went on sale, and they were going to be used, but yeah, with the failure of the Wii U, it just didn't go into... Uh, it, if you have Bayonetta 1 and 2, both discs in one still sealed, that's pretty... That's a pretty hot commodity. Still sealed, huh? Still sealed, but that's near impossible because you know you got to open your games in order to enjoy well, them. Well, yeah, I always open them. You know, silly goose. Like, like the one. The all right. So I have this trauma. <gasps> right. About oh. ge about getting new games. I remember this. So I mean, yeah. By the way, what? I have no argument on that in anime game. Continue. When, when you uh, when you uh, open up your game, you're supposed to like see the game, right? Yep, it's got that new game smell too. Right. Oh, that's tragic. So uh, one year. Uh, back when the DS was still popular. Yeah, I remember this. I, uh... I tried my hand at a little uh, horror game for the DS called Dementium the Ward. That's it! Yeah, it was Dementium! It, w it was M-rated, it was gory, it was violent, it I, was on, I was I was on, on the Resident Evil 4 high still, so... It's also on the DS, yeah? It, it was on the DS, that's what I got it for. Yeah. So I uh, go to the, do, do the, do the Best Buy, go to the store, I pay, I pay, pick it up, pay for it, and then I go outside, I open up, and... The game was missing. There was no game. Empty box. Fortunately, the the folks at Best Buy were very understanding, and they let me like re, like refund for a for, for a different DS game. That's good. And uh, I I think it must have been fate because the game I ended up getting was uh, some little just some puzzle game I heard that was actually pretty good called uh, Professor Layton and the Curious Village. So. 
One of the best DS games. Don't at me. Where the fuck am I going now? Yeah, where the fuck are you going? Yeah. Oh, wait. Don't we have to go down now because we have space jump? Yeah, we need to head over there. That makes sense. So I've never had a situation like yours with the whole, uh, you know, hey, there's no game in there. But I do remember there being an issue with getting a used game and not getting the correct one. Oh, really? Yeah, they're yeah, probably at the crap ones. Uh, well, yeah, you know, I went dumpster diving one day and uh, <laughs> saw <clears throat> that... Oh, I can't remember. It was, it was definitely a PSP game. I do remember that. What the heck? They got my Dracula X Chronicles in this MLB 99. Uh. Actually, you're close. I can't remember what... Actually, no, it was Dead or Life Paradise. That's uh -huh. what it was. Yeah, it was the uh, PSP port. Ten missiles! Of Extreme Beach Volleyball. I think. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Oh, guys. Go. Gotta go back, though, unfortunately. Why do I even own that? Anyway. Uh, yeah, they put in the exact wrong game. I think they put in, like, a f the Final Fantasy game that was on the <laughs> PSP or something <laughs> like that. Dissidia? <laughs> yeah, and, and I was just, hey, guys, this, uh, this ain't Dead or Alive. And, of course, I had to openly admit, yeah, I came here for Dead or Alive Paradise, not Dissidia Final Fantasy. They were They were outing you. That's what they oh yeah, doing. but it's it's the bad GameStop that you and I have around here, so I There's, think I think they were used to. Uh, oh man, gluttons for punishment. Oh, that's sad. Is that the one where you work at, or no? It was the other one. Oh, oh the other, the bad one. Really? That's the bad one. At least for me. Ah! I don't know how many experiences you've had with that one. The one where all the crime happens. How about that one? Again, I don't know which one that is. Shoot. Uh, it's like crime. I, I, I've never known crime to happen at either. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, the one where all the potheads go. Damn it, that doesn't describe it either. <laughs> That's where I go then, so I don't know. Uh, shoot, this isn't helping. But anyway, uh, yeah. And I actually found this right as I was heading out the door. Double checked it real quick. I was like, oh, hey, guys, this isn't the right game. Uh, oh, well, do we even have that in stock? That is something that happened. I've, I've had that happen at a few games. Multiple so. times. Yeah. And it's terrible. Because you're thinking, oh, yeah, I'm going to get this game. They say they have it in stock. You go there. Nah. It's actually not in there because it was a incorrect inventory entered. Mm. Bad times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, now I'm getting flashbacks of working at GameStop. Actually, some pretty decent memories. Because I was there when Kid Icarus Uprising came out, when Mario Party 9 came out. All the all the top titles of the decade. They're great. I am legit fond of Mario Party 9. It was a fun game. At least when you and I played it. Playing it by yourself is just maddening. Yeah, party games are typically more fun with people. Yeah. And one of the perks of working at GameStop, and granted this was like, I think 2011, 2012? You know, the best years of gaming. Of course. As opposed to 2007, 2020, all that fun stuff. 2017 even. 2017 even, yeah. That, that, that year sucked. <laughs> I was actually allowed to take games home for three nights to test them so I could help sell them. But the thing is, all the games were basically the same at that point, And the games I wanted to take back were like... You know, Kid Icarus Uprising and Mario Party 9. You, you, you can test uh, MLB 11 or uh, F F FIFA 12 or something. Yeah, I remember Max Payne 3 came out oh, while yeah. I was working there, too. Max Max Payne 3, everybody remembers that. Yeah, everybody Payne. remembers that one. I had Max Payne 3. I do not have any of the Max Payne games. I have all three Max Paynes. Oh. Guess how many of the Max Payne games I have played? Uh, one. Ten minutes of three. <sighs> That's more than I've played. Yeah, <laughs> Maybe we should do a Max Payne run. You no. Know, make, fun, make fun of uh, old uh, early 2000s noir and the, you know, the terrible I, third game I, that I tried to be kind of stylistic and didn't work. I think I would rather do Dead to Rights. Ah, get, 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 get. I just saw you the last second. Ah! What? Okay. It, it's fine. Ah, it's cut fine. that out! Ah. Oh, fuck it. it! It tried to fake you out. Sheesh! Sheesh! Sheesh. And again, sheesh! Eh. Now get over there. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, there we go. Man, yeah. that was around the time when Gears of War 3 came out, and I had to try and sell that. So many games that I cared... <laughs> well, I imagine it'd be easier to sell Gears of War 3 than Gears 5, you know? Yeah. So so maybe maybe you worked at a pretty okay time. 
there there were certain games that I knew nothing about, and I was supposed to you know try and sell them. And the best thing is, they gave me ideas on what to tell people to try and sell it to them. And it, some of them were lies, <laughs> like bold faced lies. Bam. That was really good. Good job. So, yeah, I wasn't that good. I barely lasted a year at that game stop because I just I just don't care about all the AAA games. Like, give me my niche games. Give me my games for real adults. I can't even think of one. Oh, wait, let me go looking for anime games again. Games for clear adults. I gotta tip my hat to Lost Judgment. Uh, Indivisible. Judgment went from a game that I thought would be, you know... I didn't really like the original Judgment, because it just felt like an ape off of Yakuza, but this this new one, this Lost Judgment, it's really good! You showed me a fight scene, and that, oh is, my, that is straight good. Oh my god! It's, that, it's that is just legit good. <laughs> like, like remember when Yakuza games used to have, like, three different fighting styles, and they kind of just kind of devolved to multiple characters, and then just kind of one character had one, maybe two fighting styles? Yeah. This game has four! <laughs> Four fighting styles! Hey, wow! Th the first judgment only had two fighting styles. This one has an entire third one they added, just because, oh, you know, I've just been working on some stuff. And an added fourth one as DLC! <laughs> that's crazy! As DLC, really? Yeah. Boxing oh. style. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Okay. And there's there's gonna be a, a DLC with another character, so that's probably even a fifth style. Oh my god. It's like, please, here, here. You're spoiling me. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, I, I found some anime games for you. Okay, you ready? Okay, go for it, yeah. Uh, give me your opinion on all of them. Okay, go. Okay. Uh, Knights of Azure. I've seen that in PlayStation now. It looks like I uh, said, okay, maybe this might be decent. And then the screenshots, the, the screenshots I did see were scantily clad women in night clothes. So uh, this probably isn't what I'm looking for. It's not good. It's not good. Got uh, it. Odin Sphere, Leaf Frasier. Uh, I play. I, that's a Vanillaware game, and I do like Vanillaware. We do not say no to Vanillaware in there this is, house. There is, there is no ill will towards Vanillaware. Vanillaware. But I don't like Odin Sphere that much. I, I did. I played. I, I played some of their other games. I like them better. Thirteen Sentinels. Everybody buy it, please. Yes, go go buy Thirteen Sentinels. So, so we can all have more games like that. Yes, please, 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 please. Uh, let's see. Our world is ended. Fuck that <laughs> stupid ass goddamn game. I fucking hate that game. <laughs> That's an awful stupid game <laughs> by awful stupid people. And it's, it's, it's the worst. And and what's crazy is that there's an episode somewhere some years ago where I said, well, it's actually not that bad. It starts off pretty good. And then I, I played like 20 more minutes into it and it just immediately devolved into nothing but endless fucking uh, sex jokes that aren't funny and they're just distracting and <laughs> there's no likable characters and it's clear they're trying to be Danganronpa and Steinsgate. It's a blatant ripoff. It's embarrassing. Oh man, that's some lovely hate we got there. Oh, it's, oh, it's brilliant. F feels good sometimes. Alright, let's see. Uh, Summon Night 6. Never heard of it. I didn't know there were six of them. Yeah, fucking me neither. And then I found it on Amazon for like five bucks. Gold mine. Uh, let me see. Okay, I think that broke through here. Arc Rise Fantasia. Never heard of it. Uh, apparently, that's one of the rarest games on the Wii. Well, there you go. Yeah, there we go. I got it. Uh, Rodea the Sky Soldier. <laughs> Fucking kill me. Ah, uh, you have that. It's so funny. I've got both. Oh, you're so funny. I forgot this. Check it out, man. <gasps> Yay! We got I've the been magic for this. We got the magic pancakes. Magic pancakes? Show them to me. Magic pancakes equals bro! Funfetti pancakes. The gravity seal. What's left of it? Uh, well, it's there's still some there. Oh, that looks so good! I dig this fucking color oh. scheme. This, like, I, I live for this. Oh, thank God! Now, f uh, funny story. Playing through this my first time, I thought, "Wow, they're having me go through a lot of water here. I hope it's not for nothing." It was not for nothing. That's... Look at that! That's awesome! Yeah! Now, another funny story. That section where you're shooting the three missiles. 
I thought I needed to leave and come back with the gravity suit. Oh, man. And I almost left this area without picking up the gravity suit. Oh, look at that. I love this. It's just, oh, it's fantastic. So smooth. So buttery smooth. Way better than your poopy anime games. I know. Rodeo the Sky Soldier kind of fucking sucks. Both versions of it. Wow, it came with two instruction manuals. <laughs> one for the Wii and one for the Wii U. And also, it's a reversible cover. One for Wii, one for Wii U. It's been through there. Probably heading back. Probably can head back up. Yeah, you can, Why? Space, you can just space jump all the way back up now. And yet it's rare. I don't understand. I've got to get screw attack for that one. That should be next soon, right? Yeah. Uh <laughs> all right, nav room. Hey, Adam, where do I go? All right, I'm done making myself sad by looking at my collection. Didn't even touch on the other anime games I know you have that uh, you're uh, kind of avoiding. A little bit. How many Senran Kagura games do you have? All of them. How many Hyper Dimension Neptunia games do you have? All of them. Are those both Criminal Girls games? Uh huh. Yeah. Is that Valkyrie Drive Bikuni? Uh, yeah. Wow, you got it. Hmm. Yeah, that's. I legitimately hate that game. You even have Sword Art Online games. Well, everybody wow. does. Everybody does. I don't! Everybody who matters. <gasps> Everybody that matters like Sword Art Online does? <laughs> yeah. I fucking hate it. <laughs> Actually, uh, a little, little I, I can dedicate fact. some time to how much I, I hate Sword Art Online if you really want me to. Nah, it's fine. You didn't watch it. Or did you? No, I, I, uh, d I didn't need to. I, I saw snips uh, of it. I heard, you you kind of have to. I heard what it was about. I'm like, okay, this seems like the uh, dumbest crap. Uh, it's like, why would I watch this when Dot .hack exists? Answer me that! Why would I watch Sword Art Online when Dot .hack already exists and is way better? Okay, because I don't watch crap. Sword Art Online is crap, you watch that. <laughs> I don't watch Dot .hack either. So don't watch either. <laughs> no, I've watched Sword Art. But it, not Dot .hack. Correct. Well then, maybe it's time to... <laughs> <laughs> time to sit you down! Get you watching some stuff. Actually, it's funny you bring up Criminal Girls. There is actually certain points where that should be illegal here in the U.S. And yet you have both. And yet I have both. It, they somehow squeaked by with an M rating when they don't deserve it. Hey, something's off. Uh, hmm. Is it the color of her suit? Um, maybe. It could be the fact that we're now at the starting area of the game and everything is frozen over. Oh. This isn't... correct. No, it's not. God, I remember getting yeah, to this I point. It is so to. good. Yeah. Oh man, everything's just frozen over. It looks I so good. I believe the trigger ah. for this is the gravity suit. Probably, because we have to go back here and all that. Right. Yeah, so we have an entirely new environment. Old but new. It's all frozen over. The way we traverse them is, is different now. Like, we can't get that over there, but- I want it! There's, there, there's no way to even get in there! Oh, get because, it, because please! Because that's, that's- we gotta get over there! Because we, we need get the there. thing we gotta, in order to go down get and the, get oh, it! I gotta get the thing and get the thing! That's a screw attack! Get me the screw attack! Oh, oh god! Alright, well... We'll get it eventually, no worries. That's still screw attack, dude. <laughs> By the way, this looks gorgeous. I know, right? Look at the ice, look at the snow. This is why I like ice and snow levels, because they always look so pretty. I can't get this. Well, I'm also trying to remember... We have to fight a boss in order to undo this. Probably, yeah. Yep, oh. There we go. Yeah. I knew you could do it. Uh-oh. Yep, and you're right. Boss time! Uh, oh. Another one of these An things, Another except... one of these? Oh, he's now, got a shield! They've got a shield now! Oh, wait, I remember the, uh, the reaction command to this. It's so good. Oop. Ow! Trying to wait for the... He stuck you with the thing. I guess I can shoot a few times. Yeah. I would actually... It actually... He pushed back when he got hit with the missile. Oh, there... Oh, yeah, fuck. There, there it was. Oh, oh that's unfortunate. Then I can just shoot the missile a bunch of times, too. Yeah, it's... It'll break eventually. Oh, it will? I think so. Oh, damn and it! And there we go. That's a fast attack. Mm. And I think you have to be right up on it, him, don't it, you? It, it, it fakes me out, too. I was like, I know you want to. I know you want to. 
because he does the, the thing and yep. then he jerks does forward. The slam and then he jerks. Yeah. <laughs> he slams and he jerks and he dips and he just. Oh, I can't take it. Maybe he'll fare better. Maybe. The last boss pretty good. Should be able to take out this guy, no problem. I have a newfound. Le oh, well. <laughs> I was about to say, a newfound skill! Newfound skill! Hubris! This is what happens when you have faith in me. Just absolutely dog it. Got it. I've learned not to rely on people. You can rely on me. Well, I do. Not, not for playing Metroid well, Dread, I do, but look but... what happens! <laughs> you do decently, and you get to the second phase! Alright! I think he's firing that beam now, yep. Yep, there it is. That beam hurts! The ick beam. A lot! Be careful. Uh, thankfully, we can just dive out of the way. Still, still got the wave, too, when he jumps down like that, though, so... so... Look at that, you had so much problem before, and now you're, you're, you're hitting him like a pro. I'm learning. You're learning! The game is easing you in when it does the ultimate final boss. Oh, um, shit! Oh, yeah, that's three, four... Oh, that's a lot of E-Tanks there. All right, do it up! And... Two! And you how, know, how would you, you say hello to my lovely blaster in your face? Suck on that. Suck on that. All right, which way are we going? Uh, try left. Try left. Okay. It's the one they directed me towards. I just didn't know if that was the actual place they wanted me to go. After some lovely loading. Well, what's the map say? Good question. Ah, uh, we can go in there, but there's nothing over here. That's just the way back. I assume we're going to need to... Get something. To I, I know they to really want me to go this way. Also, there's a place where we can grapple, so let's do that. Yeah, this way seems like a like a good way. Like a winner. It seems like a way. Oh, the we're all gonna right. we're gonna get we're gonna get there eventually when we do all the backtracking. Which all right, all right, I'm excited. All there's right. gonna be a lot of. Here's what, on, here's what, what I'm thinking. Tracking? Here's what I'm thinking. Um, every time we get a thing, when we trade do backtracks, we we'll trade off. I like that. Uh, this is that's a no go. No need, no need to worry about the deaths because you know just it's just gonna be oh crap this got in my way. <laughs> Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops. For the Shine Spark puzzles, I think we're just gonna have to. Yeah. I'm just gonna give them to you okay. because I hate Shine Spark puzzles. <laughs> they can all go to hell. Every single one of them. Even uh, the ones I was able to do go like right to hell. I like the challenge, though. It's okay. It, it's fine. That's fine. Oh, that, that. oh, yep. I see it. Got it. Got half an in tank. Does that mean I get 50 extra points of health? Uh, actually, if they work like that, that would be so cool. But, unfortunately. If I ever did a Zelda game, that's how I do pieces of heart. You get one piece of heart, well, hey, that's one quarter heart increase One quarter heart, you. yeah. That sounds cool. I wonder if we'll ever go back to... Alright, uh, now I can gurgle a little longer when a Goma stabs my eyes out! <laughs> Thanks, Goma! Alright, so we have made it back. Uh... Oop. Nice. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Ah! There's doors that are frozen solid. Oh, oh, well, well. Uh, already been here. Yeah, already been here. Oh, am I just... I wonder... <gasps> oh, Power bomb! Oh, man. Nice try, though. The thought was there. It, w it was there. Uh, is there something I'm missing? I'm sniffing out a thought, and there was there was definitely some brain activity happening. Quite quite a bit of it too. Ah, uh, brain. Can't oh, get, right. Can't oh, get through there. Damn it! Right, because it's <laughs> it just doesn't work it's like a, that. It's a little cool around it here. Just doesn't work like that. Nah, it doesn't. We're just gonna we're just gonna brute force our way through. Got it. Man, that feels good. Oh, well, yep. it doesn't, doesn't feel good now. Oh, Victoria now it, it feels bleeding. better again. All right. Uh, We're back to the beginning of the game, basically. Yeah, basically. So that door's frozen, so I might as well go through there. Wh which one? Oh, that that one's frozen? Yeah. So, no, th that that's the way through. You see that blue outline on that door <gasps> Oh, down there? that means it's frozen. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah, we can't get through any of this, so... Where are they even taking so, you? So, it looks like up and over... Holy crap. Alright. Uh, just just make your way forward and whatever's not frozen, go that way. Again, how the game doesn't really keep you so lost. Adam, where do I go? 
Help me, please. Oh, he's not responding, because he's... Frozen. I also like they give her reason. Well, yeah. We, we redirected the, the heating of the planet, and now it's all uh, out of there? Of course, I don't know how a planet gets cooler the deeper you go. The central control system you activated in Cataris is still operational. Some force and there's your reveal. Mm. And your hint. Something is blocking the thermal energy. Oh, great. That's a fun one. The problem. The cooling has prevented you from exploring this area. There must be a vital ability. It's the screw attack, I'm telling you! Huh. It's the screw attack! I wonder where it is. Uh, okay. Well, oh my god, I ended an episode. I, I, I know, it's crazy. Whoa! Next time on Metroid Dread, Nisko will take us through the frozen tundra of the starting area and maybe uh, make it not so much a frozen tundra anymore. That'll work. That'll work. I'm tired of being cold. I know, it's, I, I, I hate it. It's like, I know I'm bundled up and all that, but I still feel like the biting <laughs> cold and I'm getting like the sweats now. It, I know, it's yeah. making it even colder. <laughs> you get the cold sweats. <laughs> I want to go home! <laughs> <laughs> See you guys next time.